Hailey Bieber has said to be a mean girl from various fan encounters, but what about her fellow celebrities? Hey guys, I'm your host Lauren, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 times Hailey has shaded other celebrities. Number 10, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and Hailey Bieber didn't really have any bad blood between them until recently. The social media drama happened when a video resurfaced on social media showing Hailey and the rapper Method Man during an episode of Drop the Mic. In the clip, Hailey was seen rolling her eyes and sticking her tongue out when Method Man said, Hollywood's top stars face off in a one on one battle, full of the meanest lyrics about celebrities since Taylor Swift's last album. The video even made it to Selena Gomez's For You page, unfortunately for Hailey. Selena quickly came to defend her friend Taylor and commented, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. This left fans wondering if maybe there was more to the drama that happened before this that led to her gagging over Taylor. Though the two were never necessarily close, it doesn't seem like there was any hatred beforehand. Hailey even shared her positive feedback online about the film Cats, which Taylor starred in, saying, My Christmas gift from the universe is the release of the Cats movie. Rumors have also been surfacing as to if this could be an extension of the feud between Taylor and Justin Bieber, not only from the history between Justin and her best friend Selena, but also because of his close relationship with his manager, Scooter Braun, who is also the man that bought all of her music catalog and who she claims bullied her alongside Justin. Not only that, but Hailey has also liked a screenshot of Taylor with the caption, would you smack her for 835 billion? Someone responded, I'd smack her for a sweet tea from McDonald's, which she did like. Though Taylor has never publicly said anything bad about Hailey, many assume it is pretty tense between the two, considering the pretty public shade. Number 9, Road. Hailey Bieber found herself in some pretty hot water after being sued by a brand which accused her of trying to buy their name Road from them four years ago. When the model launched her skincare brand, she named it Road, which is the name of the fashion brand, resulting in her getting hit with a trademark infringement lawsuit. The owners of Road Fashion Line came out with a statement saying, Today we are forced to file a lawsuit against Hailey Bieber and her new skincare line, which was launched last week and that is using the brand Road. They went on to say, We didn't want to file this lawsuit, but we had to in order to protect our business. Even though the founders stressed how much they loved Hailey and wished her only success, they were upset that she chose this name out of all other choices that she could have had. They went on to say, Hailey could choose any brand for her skincare line. We only have the brand name Road that we've built. That's why we didn't sell out our brand when she asked for it four years ago. The nine-year-old Road Fashion was nervous about the confusion on the market, and when asked why they decided to go through with the lawsuit, they revealed, we have real concerns for the future. It's disappointing to me that a female entrepreneur of whom we've been fans of for a long time is trying to smother what we've built. It was revealed though that Haley owns the trademark for skincare and they hold it for fashion, so it looks like she's in the clear. But it definitely is a bit of a shady move to use the name even though they refuse to sell it in the first place. Number 8, The TikToker Another shady moment happened when a TikToker encountered Haley while working a shift as a host in an upscale restaurant. In a video that now went viral, the TikToker explains what it was like to meet Haley, and it's not great. She claimed Haley was rude, saying, This is going to be controversial. I've met Haley a handful of times, and every time she was not nice. I really want to like her, but I have to give her a 3.5 out of 10. Haley, who is known to be a big TikTok lover saw the video and quickly commented back. She wrote, I just came across this video and wanted to say, I'm so sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or a bad attitude. That was never my intention. Julia appeared to accept the apology, calling her the accountability queen. Later, Haley even explained just about how this video made her feel, saying, when I saw her video, I was so upset. There's never an excuse for being rude. I felt bad that this was her experience with me and it made me kind of frustrated because you never know what someone's going through. Fans seem to accept this apology with many collectors writing, at least she said sorry. Number 7, Shawn Mendes. Shawn and Haley had a brief relationship right before marrying Justin Bieber. The whole thing seems a little bit shady, with some fans asking if she was just waiting for Justin to be single again, or if the fling was just a publicity stunt. Shawn more or less has admitted that they were involved in the past, but they both refused to put a label on their past relationship. Shawn said in an interview with Rolling Stone, I don't even want to put a title on it. I think it was more of a zone of limbo. After being seen holding hands during Halloween and then cuddling over the holidays, it seems like they were keeping things pretty casual due to the distance. The two ended up being each other's date to the Met Gala in May, but by June, Haley was back with Justin and engaged just a month later. At the time, Sean claimed that he wasn't bitter, saying to Patrick Doyle from the Rolling Stone, I get it, you know, and I'm happy for them. But could this whole thing just be a PR move? Considering how fast it was and how quickly she married Justin, makes fans believe it absolutely was. But if it wasn't, it was still a pretty quick timeline from being spotted with Sean to being full-on married to Justin. 
Number six, Justin Bieber. Haley and Justin have been married for a few years now, but that doesn't save him from being shaded. Haley has been pretty open about the difficulties of marriage and explains that he hasn't always been the easiest partner, especially in the beginning. During an episode of In Good Faith, the podcast, Haley revealed how it was her mom who persuaded her to stay with Justin, which I'm sure would be awkward to hear as her husband. She shared at the time saying, I remember I called her a few different times. One particular time when we were in Brooklyn and I was calling her, I was crying and I was like, I can't do it. There's no way that I'm going to be able to do this if it's going to be like this forever. She went on to say when discussing her mom's response, she was so calm and she was like, it's going to pass and you're going to be fine. He's going to be healthy. A few fans on Twitter have begun accusing Justin and Haley of having a sort of mother and son relationship where Haley cares for Justin at times, kind of like a mother. The recent time that really got TikTok and Twitter users talking was a clip that emerged of Haley comforting Justin at this year's Coachella. Though many thought the moment was sweet, others were thinking that Justin was getting upset and didn't want to be there and that maybe Haley liked to be a little bit like a caregiver. Maybe not so bluntly shady, but if intentional, could this be a way of her putting him down to make herself look better? This one is tough though. What do you guys think? Number five, the store model. In the midst of the drama with Selena that took over every social media platform, more videos started emerging of Haley's supposed mean girl side. One video in particular popped up showing Haley when she was younger, shaming a model while in a clothing store with her friend. The video shows her pointing at the photo of the model and saying, this girl thinks she's cool, but because she's not mad, right? But little did she know, did you punch someone? Going on to say, do you have the proper makeup people because you have lipstick on your teeth? And this ad is in a store, no way. The video was uploaded by an account called Cancel Haley Bieber. They captioned the video with, I thought Haley supported women though. This led many TikTok users to label Haley as crazy with one user writing, oh my God, another one to my collection. She's crazy. Others have also been trying to figure out who the model is with some speculating that it could be Selena or that she did this because she thought the woman looked like Selena. When the video made its way to Twitter, one user wrote, she's so ugly inside and out. Another added, can we cancel Hailey Bieber yet? Number four, the high school bully. Though the alleged victim isn't necessarily a celebrity, they have gained a lot of attention online lately for claiming that Hailey was their high school bully. A TikTok user named Kimona Elizabeth posted on her account that reveals Hailey was their bully while they were in high school together. She did receive many rude comments that she was lying or looking for attention during the height of the Haley drama, but she did seem pretty serious when she defended her claims in another video. Though this hasn't been confirmed or denied completely yet, the rumor is out there and it's not a good look. Number three, nepotism. During an episode on Haley Bieber's YouTube series, Who's in My Bathroom, Gwyneth shared her opinions on the struggles of being a nepotism baby. She did acknowledge that people with famous parents do have it better in the industry, but also claims that these people will have to work twice as hard as the people with no connection. Actions. She said, I really do feel that once your foot is in the door, which you unfairly got in, then you have to work twice as hard and be twice as good because people are already ready to pull you down. And you say, you don't belong here or you're only here because of your mom or dad. This is something that Haley seemed to agree with, which is a bit of a slap in the face to other celebrities who had zero help at all with getting to where they are today. One viewer commented, Gwyneth saying you need to work twice as hard as a Nepo kid isn't true. The people without connections have to work 10 times as hard, not even twice as hard. Another added, oh, give me a break with the twice as hard bit. If you're fortunate enough to be born with that Wonka golden ticket, that's fine. Going on to say, just accept the gift and enjoy the huge head start. Number two, the model agency. Hailey Bieber reportedly was pretty shady towards a fellow model from her agency. The model came forward on TikTok describing the time she had when both Hailey and her were signed to the same modeling agency as teenagers. She recalls by saying, she was so cold to me. She treated me like trash. It was just the vibe she gave off. She really thought she was better than everyone in the room. And I'm like, girl, we're both signed to the same agency. She went on to say, I don't believe that celebrities owe anybody anything, but you know, it's one of those moments where you shouldn't meet up with the people you look up to or who you idolize. And at number one, of course, we have Selena Gomez. Definitely the biggest shady moment was of course towards Selena. Ever since Justin and Haley's marriage in 2018, the media has pitted these two against each other, which they have both attempted to shut down until recently with the eyebrow drama. In a now deleted post, Selena posted a video on TikTok sharing that she laminated her eyebrows a little bit too much. Within a few hours, Kylie Jenner posted a selfie on her Instagram story with the caption, this was an accident. Clearly fans in the media were convinced she was throwing shade at Selena, considering the text was placed right over her eyebrows. She then went on to post a screenshot of a FaceTime between her and Haley, which was zoomed in on both their eyebrows. This spiraled all over social media with most fans coming to the support of Selena. With the backlash Haley was receiving from Selena fans, she actually turned to the star to help her out with the outrage. Selena spoke 
out in her defense, essentially telling her fans to leave Haley alone. Haley then came up with a statement on her Instagram which said, I want to thank Selena for speaking out, as she and I have been discussing the last few weeks to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. Another situation that many fans believe was shady of Haley was the idea that she and Selena were both with Justin at the same time without Selena knowing it. Haley has always denied it, but the timeline is definitely close. She has admitted that she is aware of how it looks and the timing of things, but has insisted that she waited. The timeline goes that Justin and Selena were hanging out a lot in the late 2017 and seemed to get back together early 2018, until they looked to abruptly break it off. Not long after, Haley came into the picture and they got married. After getting married, Haley said in an interview how she often struggled and was ridden with guilt during the first few months of their marriage. This led some fans to believe it was because she stole Justin from Selena. These two definitely have an interesting and complicated relationship in the eyes of the media. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Let us know in the comments below what you think Haley's shadiest moment was, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.